हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल क्रैक गेट ऑनलाइन सो दिस इज़ वीडियो 1.7 पॉइंट सेवन ऑफ द बंड सीरीज सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ग्रेडेड बंड एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड विथ यू दैट देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ बंड वन इज़ द कंटूर बंड एंड वन इज सेकेंड वन इज़ द ग्रेडेड बंड एंड वॉट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू बंड सो हियर यू सी इन दिस फीचर एज आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज़ ऑल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ बंड इट इज़ ऑल्सो अ इम्बैंकमेंट स्ट्रक्चर so the basic difference lies in the fact that what you are going to do with the with this water means whatever water you are retaining behind this bund what you are going to do with this water you can either store this water or you have to dispose of this water from the area so it depends on the type of bund okay so when you are going to store this amount of water then the bund will be contour bund and now if you want to dispose of this water behind the bund then the type of bund will be the graded bund so here in this video we will discuss about the graded bund so as you think from this definition that where you need this graded bund so as i told you when you want to dispose of the excess amount of water okay then you need the graded bund so when you will have the excess amount okay so one can ask you where you will use the graded bund so you have to think by yourself you have to apply the logic you have to apply the concept that i have to dispose of the excess water so my rainfall will be high then only i will get the extra amount of water you have the water logging situation okay you have the less permeable soil okay and your infiltration capacity is low so in this all condition you have to use the graded bund okay so i hope the basics of graded bund is clear so let's move forward this is about me so before going forward i would like to say go to our youtube channel that is crack gear youtube channel name and from there you go to the playlist here you will get all the playlist so uh, currently we are uploading video on this bonding playlist okay so here you can get all the relevant video by going into playlist so here in this video we will discuss about the manning's equation and the manning's formula will be used so from playlist of the soil and water conservation you please do watch this all videos first and when you will watch this video after watching those videos then it will be more beneficial to you so in the last video that is video 1.6 i told this is one correction that here the top width will be 4d minus but it will be not 4d it will be 5d okay it is 5d minus 2 times h because here see this this total is the base width so that base width is 4d plus d okay that is total 5d minus this width this much minus this much so total is 5d minus this height is total height that is h because here side slope is 1 ratio 1 so you are total height will become depth of impounding height plus free board okay that will become your total height so this is your total height and this is also your total height so 5d minus 2 times of total height that will become your top width so this is one correction so you please correct those so here <coughs> let's discuss something more about the graded bund so here you can see in graded bund what happens so suppose this is your land area and this is your consecutive bund one bund is here and one bund is here so what you was doing in contour bund so what your amount of water was coming in between these two bund you you was going to store that water in case of contour bund now in case of graded bund what you will do you will dispose of this excess water so suppose this is your bund length okay so this like this your bund system will travel this bund system you will make okay so here all amount of water which will be available in this two bunds you have to dispose of how you will dispose of means this area between two bund will act as a channel okay and as you know water can, if the surface is leveled then water cannot move 
okay water will remain on this surface so you have to provide some slope to this channel okay for because water will move from higher elevation to lower elevation point so that's why you have to provide some slope to this channel also means some slope will be available here in between these two bands okay there so that water can move from one point to other point and this extra amount of water will be disposed of from this area so you see now one you have one slope is this that is land slope and one you have slope of this okay that is the longitudinal slope suppose as dash so read the first statement statement so this all water is disposed of here letting of the surface run runoff safely what is the meaning of safely safely means no you will not allow any erosion to take place suppose you your velocity of water which is disposing of between these two band is such that it is causing erosion in between these two band then there is no meaning of creating the band because the this all are the soil conservation system and even and when you are doing if you are designing your bund in such a way that eros that erosion in taking place then your design is faulty design okay so the velocity of water must be non erosive velocity and where you will find find that non erosive velocity from the manning's manning's equation that's why i told you do watch this manning equation and what is this slope in manning equation it is the longitudinal slope because water is flowing in this longitudinal slope only that's why you will take longitudinal slope not the land slope okay so here it is and it is not the contour bands so there is no meaning of defining this contour contour bands are constructed on the contours of land not the graded bands so here are all whatever i told you in the first slide you can read it here because all i have discussed in the previous videos there is nothing much okay so we will move forward to the design of the graded one so you please watch the previous video where i have discussed about the design of the contour band so all the factors of contour bands will remain same for the graded band as well because there is no difference the rainfall factor the soil factor the slope factor and the earthwork and the length of slope per hectare all will be same what will change the only change will be method of calculation of height of impounding water because in contour bund you have to store this water impounding water but in case of graded bund you have to dispose of this amount of water so that will be the basic difference all the what uh, technical parameter like vertical interval horizontal interval all will be same whatever i told you in case of the contour band so here you can simply read it there is no much difference so what will be difference i will tell you so what is the basic design parameter as we discussed in contour band you have to calculate the base width you have to calculate the top width we have to calculate the height of impounding water so here what we are taking suppose in earlier case it was making like two triangle one was this triangle and other was the water behind this okay so what your area it was coming we used to you we used to do this area for water conservation but in case of the graded bund we will not use this area for the water conservation rather we will use for disposal of water so this equation whatever i have told you here this equation is used in case of the contour bund not in case of the graded bund so this is the basic difference all other design parameter is same but the method method of calculation will be different so here i have told method of calculation is different so here you can see the slope of the seepage line that is horizontal is ns so the what will be the base width so here you can draw one line like this because this is the depth of impounding water so this much distance will become ns into height of impounding water and this horizontal distance will become z into height of impounding water because z this distance here i draw one more triangle so here that will become also z into h and here this distance will become 
hundred times h divided by land slope. All these things I have discussed before. Okay, so this is how you have to calculate. So here, whatever I told you is written here. So next, this is the main difference between the graded band and the contour band. So as I told, the distance between two bands will act as a channel. It will not be used as a storage of water. Rather, it will be used to dispose of that amount of water. So I told that you have to give that area as a slope. Okay, so here it will be some slope perpendicular to this length. Okay, so that slope is known as the longitudinal slope, and that will vary from 0.2 to 0.4 percent. Okay, so if the bond length is too higher, then that may be the variable slope. Means up to some distance you will give one slope, and from that distance you will give some other slope. But if the length of bond is small, then that slope may be uniform. means uniformly you will give 0.3% slope so whatever i have told you it is written here you can read so here also you see this same thing we discussed in contour band because based on the type of soil your side slope side slope of band okay so this is the side slope of band will vary from 1 raised to 1 to 2 raised to 1 for different type of soil it is we have discussed this same thing earlier also so here i discussed how what is the difference between the graded band and the contour band and what are the design parameters and how how you can calculate various design parameters and in the next video i will particularly focus on how to calculate the height of impounding water that will clear all your doubt regarding contour band and the graded band and how to calculate this because once you will get this height suppose this is the band so this is the height of impounding water so once you will get the height of impounding water then only then only you can calculate the base width once you know the base width you can calculate the top width once you know the height of impounding water you can multiply it by free board and you can know the total height of bond so this all is the design parameter so the basic starting point is from calculation of height of impounding water so this we will discuss in next video so please do like share and subscribe this channel thank you